confident body language for anyone. Did you know it's often said that 93% of communication is non-verbal? That is to say, a lot of our meaning and our mood is conveyed through means other than the words we choose. And vocabulary, phrasing and literal meaning only accounts for 7% of the ideas and emotions we convey through our language. The rest? Well, that comes down to 55% body language and 38% tone of voice. In this presentation, we'll learn how to take care of that 55%. The basics. Body language is something that we all use unconsciously. Many of us will move our hands in a certain way, make particular gesticulations and position ourselves and stand in particular ways too. All of this conveys something about how we feel and what we want to say. And this may or may not be congruent with the actual words coming out from our mouths. Of course, if the body language we're giving off says one thing and the words we're saying mean something else, then this calls into doubt our reliability and our truthfulness. For instance, if you're trying to put on a tough show but you're speaking in a nervous, shaky voice, then you'll come across as highly unconscious. Likewise, if you speak confidently but your body language is bad, that will give away the game. What makes for confident body language? A number of things we can do with our bodies will make us appear confident or otherwise. On the whole, for instance, it's generally agreed that taking up more space makes us seem more confident. Likewise, so does exposing your most vulnerable areas. Leaning on something or touching something makes you seem possessive of that item. So, if you're leaning nonchalantly in a doorway or you're slumped over a sofa with your legs apart, then these things will make you appear more confident. Conversely, if you put up a guard by crossing your arms, if you look downward and if you bring your knees together, this makes you look vulnerable and shy. Do keep in mind that body language is best read in clusters. Certain things make you seem more or less confident, but there are other factors that might be at play. For instance, if your arms are crossed, then this might simply be because you're cold. It's about the big picture and what all that information says collectively about you.